Hello coolers, welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing on the latest update. We start with this report claiming that Javi and Barcelona both are in conflict about left back signing. Secondly, we are going to be talking about Frankie de Jong as Juventus are reportedly trying to pursue an impossible dream for Frankie de Jong and a swap deal have been proposed. We are going to be looking at that as well. Then lastly, we are going to be talking about Memphis Depay as the Barcelona striker could end up staying at Barca if the club cannot sign Robert Lewandowski. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do a sure to subscribe. If you haven't, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Ahead of the new season, Barcelona have several positions to strengthen in the squad in the summer transfer window. One area where reinforcements are necessary is the left-back slot, where Jordi Alba has no viable backup, while young star Alejandro Balde is an option, the young star has little experience and manager Javi has been locked down to use it. So an established left-back is something that the Blackburn are expected to look at in the summer with several names already being linked. But the report from ARA is now claiming that there is no general consensus within the club over which left-back target to pursue. It is claimed that Barcelona director Matteo Alemani is leaning towards the signing of Valencia left-back and captain Jose Gaia. The 26-year-old is one of the most well-established left-backs in Spain and has a wealth of experience with his best year still in front of him. Gaia's contract with Los Che also stands to expire next year and even though talks of an extension are believed to be taking place, there is nothing concrete as of yet. Alemani's past ties with Valencia mean he knows the Spaniard very well and wants him to come to Barca. However, as per the report, manager Javi is favoring a move for Benfica Alejandro Grimaldo over Gaia. The 26-year-old will also see his contract expire in 2023, much like the Valencia's keeper and has been performing at a top level in Portugal for over six years now. A former La Masia trainee with close to 100 appearances for Barcelona B team, Grimado is well versed with the methods and philosophies of the club. It also makes his, his transition into the squad a seamless one, which is why Xavi could be leaning towards signing him. As things stand, Barcelona are yet to zero in on a priority target, with Chelsea's Marcos Alonso also being an option. However, the report adds that Barcelona have other priorities at the moment before they focus their attention on signing a fullback. The left-back role have been talked about a lot as the summer window approaches and one can't say which of the left-backs will be making it to the camp now. There are many options, there are a lot of options, talking about Grimaldo, Daglafico, um, of course Gaia, you know, Marcos Alonso and so on and so forth, many of them and that have led to some differences when it comes to who will come as the new left back when it comes to the decisions by Xavi and the decision by the Barca board. Of course, Xavi wants Alejandro Grimaldo and Matteo Alemani who was once a director of Valencia wants, you know, Jose Gaia and of course, I think all of them, the reasons for any of them coming is still good. Jose Gaia is a quality left back, has vast experience, also plays with the Spanish national team. You know, he's, he's a, he's, he can fit the Barca style of play very, very well. And Grimaldo, of course, a former La Masia player, plays with the B team a lot. And he knows the cross philosophies inside out. You know, he's still a good addition. So, who will be there as the new left back, as a new backup for Jordi Alba? It all remains to be seen. Then on to the next story of discussion, Frankie de Jong has become a subject of transfer speculation in the market in recent weeks, amid discontent with Javi over his role in the first team. Many expect the midfielder to consider an exit from Camp Nou in the summer. Barcelona have deemed the player untransferable, but recent reports suggest they will have to averse to a sell if any club comes up with an extremely lucrative offer. Manchester United have been in contention to sign the Dutchman. With the newly appointed Eric Den Haag in a potential reunion at Old Trafford in the, up in the upcoming season. However, according to Dario Sport, Juventus are another club involved in the race to sign the young. Although signing the FC Barcelona sensation is more of a dream than a realistic prospect for them, 
It is something that the Bionsonari are considering. The Italian giants are aware of their delirious financial state, which could hinder the prospect of signing the young, but they are thinking of coming up with several market solutions, including a potential player plus cash deal. Juventus are hoping to reach a similar agreement. They are dealt with a swap deal involving Alto Melo and Miralem Pjanic. Barcelona, though, have no interest in such deals. They are holding out for a truly lucrative offer for the Dutchman, whose exorbitant wages at Camp Nou should also prove to be a problem for Juventus. Juventus are coming on the back of a January transfer window that saw them splash 70 million euros on Dusan Vlahovic. They also robbed in Denis Zakaria and will have to pay a premium to keep hold of Federico Chiesa in the upcoming summer. With that in mind, Juventus are likely out in the race to sign Frankie de Jong, leaving Manchester United as the only club with a real possibility of pricing the Dutch international away from Camp Nou this summer. Frankie de Jong has been talked about a lot recently when it comes to his future at the club. Of course, since Den Haag was appointed to be the new manager of Manchester United from his next season onwards, of course, the rumor mills started bringing all sorts of talk about him linked to United, a reunion with uh, Eric Den Haag. And now it's even more funny enough to see um, Juventus train interest, which this report claims is just a dream which will never happen because if, if, if the young wants to go to any club, it will be Manchester United. So, by the way, I wish the young stays at Barca for a very long time and I hope all these rumors just come short because the young still has great talent to bring this club to a greater height. Of course, even though I've not achieved a lot since the young came, he just came at a very worrisome and bad time for FC Barcelona when things are not moving well. We hope that he stays for a long time and of course the fact that United will not qualify for the Champions League will also play a very hindering role in the young's decision if he wants to join with them, if he wants to go to United and, and reunite with his former boss there. We hope that just the fact that he will play Champions League with Barcelona next season and make him to stay. Hopefully he stays. Then on to the final story of discussion. Memphis Abai has had an up and down debut season since joining Barca in the summer transfer window. The 28 year old was, was signed on a Bosman deal in the summer when his contract expired in Olympique Lyon and made a blazing start to life in Catalonia. The Dutchman scored some important goals early in his campaign but has found game time hard to come by of late. The Pai spent a significant time out on the sidelines due to an injury he picked up in early December, having returned to action in March. The Netherlands international has found himself behind Ferran Torres, Dembele and Obama Young in the pecking order. As a result, his game time has taken a hit, with Ansu Fati also now returning from injury and Barcelona planning to sign Lewandowski in the summer. The price future at Camp Nou is far from certain, with former club Manchester United interested in signing him. However, a new report from Dario AS is now claiming that the 28-year-old could end up staying at Camp Nou beyond the current season if Barca's transfer plans do not pan out as expected. As iterated earlier, Barcelona are interested in signing Lewandowski, but the deal is far from straightforward as Bayern have no intention of selling him this summer and are prepared to lose him for nothing in 2023. If the Blaugrana come up short in the pursuit of the Poland international, it could compel them to keep hold of the pie beyond the current season. The report states that the Barcelona coaches um, have been left impressed by the Netherlands international's performances while the player himself intends to continue at Barca. With Javi planning to use Ansu Fati as a number 9, Barca would need an additional forward to compete with Ferran Torres in the left flank. Retaining the pie in that regard makes sense for Barca. But if the club signed Lewandowski or a different top quality striker, Fati, would likely continue on the left flank, which could see the pie leave. So as things stand, it remains. It seems like the 28-year-old's future will hinge on Barcelona's pursuit of a new striker. So, colors, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video, and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please endeavor to do so. So you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye. Barca.